Hello, everybody. I'm Xinhua Zhen from China. It's a very pity that I'm still not able to take part in this annual meeting in person. Hopefully, I can join the meeting next year and see all of you. Um, it's my pleasure to represent our network to report the updates since last meeting. Our network is um, landscape management of agricultural system. And uh, at the moment, there's uh, five countries uh, in, which are involved in this network. So far, the major work of our network is still focusing on the development of the CNIM DNDC model. This is a high resolution process oriented biogeochemical model. It is a DNDC family member with the special features such as space distribution, designs to facilitate the universal applicability for ecosystems of all terrestrial land types, soil hydro erosion, customized soil layers, and resolution. This model is capable of revealing the effects of natural water flows on greenhouse gas fluxes and other biogeochemical process. Um, this model is used as a core working model for our network. Since last meeting, we have revised the model from its third version to its fifth version to better facilitate catchment landscape simulations through validating the newly ended soil erosion processes, modifying and validating the processes of forest growth so as to improve the simulations of forest biogeochemistry and greenhouse gas fluxes, and designing a new module to enable the model to calculate off-farm greenhouse gas emissions and thus yield based the greenhouse gas footprints of crop production. We have published the model of modification with improved ammonia volatilization mechanisms. Also, we have adapted the model to both MPI and MPIGA mod, so as to enable the models fast high resolution three-dimension three simulations and large scales such as river basins, national, continental, or global scales. In the last year, the cinnamon DNDC model was applied by the local government of project for water quality management of a subtropical river drainage in the southwestern China. It was also applied to evaluate greenhouse gas footprint of waste production system in different climate zones, including the tropical zone in Kenya, subtropical in southwest China, and the temperate in North China. This model is involved as a single indispensable tool in three lately granted multi-year research projects. There, this project used this model as the core tool to implement a study of late ecosystem carbon balance of cropland in one province in southeast China. It is used to implement investigation of carbon, nitrogen, and phosphorus cycling and interaction of ecosystems in the Tibetan Plateau. And it is also used 
to implement the identification of best management strategies to mitigate non-carbon dioxide emissions from cropland towards carbon neutrality. And uh, the last project is a uh, international project, international cooperation research project granted by the Ministry of Science and Technology of China. For the model development and uh, validation in last year, we have published one paper in Bachelor Sciences on ammonia volatilization from croplands, including uplands and the pandy rice fields. And we also submitted one paper to the journal. It is on the simulation of soil erosion and nutrient losses. For the model development, at the moment, we have two priorities. The first priority is to test or validate the model's applicability. To validate the model with worldwide observations subject to different natural conditions or management practices. And we especially need the GRA members or other countries or organizations to join the validation and application of this model to develop carbon neutrality strategies of crop production and landscape management. The second priority is to further improve the model's functions including further modify the model source code to enable process-oriented simulations for complex cropping systems or agroforests. But this plan is still delayed due to our failures in applying project fund. And uh, this priority is to including adding the addition of a groundwater module to improve the model's dynamical water balance simulation. It is also include the coupling of this model with atmospheric model to enable simulations on synergies and trade-offs between greenhouse gas mitigation and uh, erosion or pollution control. For the capability priorities, we have four priorities. The first is to apply for a cooperation research project. The second is to identify opportunities of cooperation with the other GRA research groups such as the uh, U.S. research group or the integrative research group to use this model as a research tool. The third priority is to apply for scholarships for international students. And the fourth opportunity is to apply for international postal positions in universities or the institutes of the Chinese Academy of Sciences. The following slide will show some cases of our revised model validation and application. This slide shows the model validation for the simulations of uh, greenhouse gases and uh, water vapor uh, fluxes for temperate forest. The uh, observation site is uh, in the northeast China. The validation is uh, for multiple years. 
ethical variance observations. This test shows another um, case, case for forest uh, validation. It, the observation site is uh, a subtropical forest with uh, it is a, a forested uh, land. Mm. The data is also from the China Flux. This case is also for the multiple year observations of carbon dioxide and the water vapor fluxes uh, from the sub, a subtropical, a natural subtropical forest. It's a natural evergreen mixed forest in the South China. This case of validation is for the tropical rainforest. The observational site is in the most southwest of China and to the bottom with between China and the Myanmar. It also the data from the China Flux networks. Um, this validation case is for a uh, cropland in the warm temperate climate zone. It's located in the North China. And this validation case is for another cropland. The observational site is in a subtropical area in Southwest China. And this validation case is for a tropical cropland in Western Kenya. The observational data, most of, uh, of the observational data is connected in our international cooperation project. This slide shows the result of our modified model application for calculation of yield-based greenhouse gas footprint in, in maize production. This result shows that using this model, we are able to quantify the greenhouse gas footprint for different management scenarios of cultivation, maize cultivation, subject to different climate including the warm temperate, subtropics, and tropics. That's the very brief introduction to our network's update. Thank you very much for your attention. If you are interested in the model or cooperation or any questions, you are welcome to contact with me. Thank you very much again.